Shout out to all my gods and goddesses checking out this video. I am see the spiritual goddess here for a pick a card reading. Yes, gods and goddesses. Today's reading, we're going to be seeing what messages your spirit guides or your angels want you to hear right now, okay? Before we get into this reading, don't forget, if you do want to book a personal reading with me, all that information is below and pinned in the comments. So let's go and go ahead and get into the two choices we have. The first option we have, this is the Tiger's Eye Crystal. So this is for pile one. And then we have the Clear Crystal Quartz for pile two. So go ahead, take a moment and see which crystal resonates with you. Meet me in the description box for your timestamps. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. Okay, pile one, so you have the Tiger's Eye Crystal. Let's go ahead and shuffle some cards and see what messages Spirit wants to give to you here. I hope everything is well with you all. Leave me a one in the comments below if you did choose pile one. All right, let's ask Spirit what messages do. Okay, wow, popped right out. So we have the sun in reverse. And then we have four of swords. Some of you spirit is saying you need to get some rest. You're not sleeping or you're not getting the rest you need. I'm picking up for the majority of you. You may be... You may be feeling depressed or you, you may be feeling sad, especially I'm looking at um, this. I'm looking at this sun in reverse. For a lot of you, it has more to do, though, with the way you're viewing things. While I was meditating on your energy, the song that came out was Fortunate by Maxwell. Um, I don't know. You guys may want to listen to that. And he's talking about things like he's never had and he's saying he's fortunate to have the relationship. But to bring this to you all, I'm getting the sense of you all starting to really recognize what you have to be fortunate of instead of paying, t paying attention to the lack. Because I don't know for my pa one babies, I feel like a lot of the stress, a lot of the mental anguish and anxieties that you're having is due to the way you're choosing to view things spirit is saying yes you can look at where you're lacking at but if you look at how far you came from where you were at years ago you have a lot to be fortunate fortunate about and i know sometimes it can feel like you you know that's just so cliche but spirit is saying during these times when you want to go into the negative, when you want to go into negative habits, that it's on you to change your course and start to really take inventory of your life. You know, you guys know we talk about this on our channel and really start being thankful for what you do have and start being realistic on areas you can't uh, improve. But don't be so hard on yourself until the point that you beat yourself up, okay? So definitely I would suggest for some of you starting a journal and writing down every day, even if you don't write it down, make it a habit when you wake up. I try to do this every day, every morning, as soon as I wake up, name three things I'm instantly grateful for, you know, and stay in, stay with that energy. So let's go ahead and pull your Oracle cards. All right, let's get into our fortune cookie oracle. I love this. So the first card you have is future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So for some of you, you could be having friends visit you from out of town or you could be taking a vacation. If not, maybe this is spirit 
um letting you know that you know someone may be coming in town so you might want to spruce up your home a little bit <laughs> you may want to take a vacation if you're feeling stagnant maybe try to go somewhere warm if you can but that's a very interesting card let's get into the good tarot card and we have ace of earth for me this is my ace of pentacles this is spirit's message to you letting you know that there's a, so, a new opportunity coming in for you a new financial blessing if you look at this i guess this would be a moose or a stag uh it looks like they're ready to they're on the heel and they're ready to take this journey and spirit is telling you a new adventure awaits i know it may seem like things are stagnated right now but sometimes spirit is saying it's in those moments that we are preparing you for a new blessing that's coming in. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful for those of you who's been waiting for a financial blessing. I definitely feel like that's coming through. We also got full moon, full moon and Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So spirit is telling you to right now, guys, right, right now, my pal one, it's important for you to view things like we stated before as the bigger picture like yes there's so many things in this world we can say we can be sad about what we don't have we can feel lack of but there's also so much abundance surrounding us every day you are not in the same place that you were in last year that you were in 10 years ago there was a point that you prayed to get to this this space that you are right now be thankful is what spirit is saying be thankful for everything you have around you be thankful for the blessings that's coming your way but whatever you're feeling you have to look at the bigger picture right now you're feeling this way but this is not this is only temporary my love and it's definitely important that you remember that okay so we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius it's so funny because if I'm not mistaken, we did have a full moon in Aquarius that just passed. I feel like for a lot of you or for some of you that energy may have affected you deeply. And I definitely I'm definitely picking up that spirit is saying you may be feeling like you're ready for something different. Now is the time to show your creative talents to the world. Now is the time to show the real, the real you because you are beautiful. Your soul is something to be appreciated. If you have a talent, don't hold back. Spirit is saying, show it to the world because this is what the world needs right now. All right, so let's get into your African goddess that wants to send you a message. We have, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Kitesha or Kitesh. This says sacred lust. This is a beautiful card. Okay, so let's see what her message is to you. Don't forget guys to hit that like button if you are enjoying this so far. And don't forget if you do wanna book a personal reading with me, all that information will be below. I did update my services and prices, so make sure you guys check that out. Okay, so her temple was love, her element is fire. Her message to you. You are an erotic creature. You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure. You deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust. Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. You daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. Her declaration is, it feels good to feel good. Yes, gods and goddesses, spirit is telling you, it just goes back to show the world, the real you. Spirit is telling you now is the time for you to connect with what makes you you. Tap into that sacral chakra energy. Tap into that divine feminine energy. We all have both feminine and masculine energies within us. And spirit is wanting you to tap in with that divine Start feeling yourself more. You know what I mean? Like put on your clothes that makes you feel feel good. If you're feeling bad, put on put on an outfit to make yourself feel sexy. You know what I mean? You know one thing I used to do when I used to have depression. You guys may be like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> this is where I got the whole rock your crown from. When I used to feel down about myself or feel bad, I got me a little tiara, a little crown that I used to put on <laughs> myself. And walk around the house to make myself feel good and uplift myself. Maybe some of you guys need to do that, okay? Like, I don't know why I'm getting this because it's like, 
this moon is her crown like crown but spirit is telling you whatever it is that you need to make yourself to uplift yourself during this time to pull yourself out of this to do it even if that means allowing yourself to be loved on by others okay so let's go ahead and get into notes from the universe these there are two final cards so we have you have what it takes always follow your heart unless it's unless it's been broken then you must lead it back into love the universe p.s did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound or too tired to love again so for those of you who's feeling down you have what it takes to get yourself out of it for some of you this is a a a direct message to you if you you are feeling down from a heartbreak spirit is telling you to not let this get you down you know you are more than what this relationship is you are, you are more than whatever this heartbreak is in your life whatever this is you are more than that and you have what it takes okay and then the final card we have is there's a deeper reason for each of your questions seek it guidance attention help maybe love always criticism never the question was what to give others if anything at all isn't it fun being you the universe so i see some of you really starting to fall back in love with yourself again and that's beautiful i really do hope you guys lean into that energy and i really do hope you guys continue to try to pull yourself out of this out of this you are not alone here i hope this message resonated with you all let me know in the comments i'll be so curious to hear from you let's chat it up you know what i mean <laughs> So until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. See you in the next video. Peace. that you have is the clear crystal quartz here so let's go ahead and get into your reading i'm going to be shuffling some cards for you first so let's see what messages spirit has for you messages you want to hear don't forget guys if you do want to book a personal reading all that information will be will be below okay so pile two let's go ahead and get into it leave me a number two in the comments let's ask spirit what messages they want to give to you let's see. so the cards we have is three of swords oh wow okay and then we have seven of cups I'm getting that some of my pal twos, my pal twos, you could be getting over um, either a, a heartbreak, either grief or loss, whatever this is. I'm picking up someone who's ready to move on from a situation that really, I don't want to say it took a toll on you guys, but this is really something that affected you to the point that emotionally you just couldn't take it anymore and now you're looking out to your options whatever this is has led you to the point where you're left alone to in this world i don't know why i'm getting this for some of you like you may be feeling like you're left alone in this world without your parachute and you're feeling like i don't know which which place to land i don't know why i'm getting that for you all spirit is saying a lot of the answers that you're seeking is within a lot of you you really have to focus on reality and being in the present i'm not saying that you guys are not in reality but i'm picking up that for some of you whatever this is 
that that's happened has caused your head to be in the clouds and spirit is telling you now is the time for you to get grounded so you can decide which decisions or which direction you want to go so let's go ahead and get into the fortune cookie card oh look change a change of residence partner career or job is on the cards you're restless and in need of a change and that is exactly what's coming your way. So for some of you, this is spirit giving you a direct message to let you know change is on the way. For those of you, maybe if you had a partner, I don't know, I'm picking up for some of you, it could be one of those situations where you're dealing with a divorce or a split up of some nature. And spirit is saying that if you, if you are worried about that, for those of you who's worried if you're going to land on your feet, this is Spirit's message to letting you know that not only are you going to land on your feet, but this change is what's needed here, okay? We have six of water. So this will be my six of cups. Six of water, this is telling me for a lot of you, you need to keep things simple. I feel like that's going to help you make a decision on which way to go you're overthinking things but i'm also getting for you spirit is telling you now is the time for you all to lean on the support from your family or friends um if you don't have people around you lean on on the support from your spiritual team spirit is tell spirit i don't know why i'm getting for pal two for some of you your spirit guides are trying to send you direct messages to let you know you're supported during this time and that you're guided so it's important for you to know that and accept that is what they're saying. Okay, so let's get into your moonology cards. We have emotions are running high, super moon, and then we have nothing will come of this situation. So for those of you that's dwelling, because I keep getting for a sense of dwelling for of this past situation, spirit is telling you nothing will come out of this situation. It's important for you to really honor those emotions that you have. Even if when you feel sad, honor that is what spirit is saying because those feelings are real and you have to acknowledge it in order to release it. But once you do that, once you release it, nothing will come of you to keep replaying it over and over again just for the sake of. Spirit is telling you now is the time for you to move forward and to begin your healing with all of this, okay? So let's get into, let's see what African goddess wants to send you a message. And we have Queen of Sheba, Secrets Revealed. I love this card. So as I'm looking at this card, you know, it looks very abundant. That's one thing I have to say. But as you can see, she's, her eyes are kind of covered up. So what aren't you seeing is what Spirit is saying. So let's look at what she says, her message. So Queen of Sheba's message to you, open your eyes, secrets are being revealed. It is safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. <laughs> That's probably why you picked the clear crystal quartz. Okay, what does she say? You don't know what you don't know. Your creator, ancestor, angels, spirits, and ascended masters are whispering to you the divine intelligence pay close attention there are things you do not let yourself see allow yourself to be guided choose your own path your goddess declaration i am connected to the divine yes gods and goddesses you are connected through divine source with the divine you can never fail okay so you have to remember that Let's get into your notes from the universe. The first card we have is that you have options. It's meaningful. Rock on. If I could make just two wishes, I wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance just as you now are to the lives of so very many. And of course, I wish for even more wishes. Oh shoot, <laughs> I like this card. You were such a good idea, love the universe. 
Oh, this is a beautiful message. You are important, guys. You have more options than you know it. Even when you feel, feel stuck, even when you feel in the dark, spirit is here to guide you through that darkness. Okay, so let's get into the final message. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. Is it say how <laughs> the universe, okay? <laughs> and I think we're going to end it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments below if you did have power to let's chat it up. Also, guys, don't forget if you do want a more personal reading, all that information will be left below. Until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. See you in the next video. Peace.